facts of evolution have proved that the discovery of new ways to improve human lives has been incredible. Inventors have brought about great change, as scientists have pushed the limits to improve communication. The evolution of long-distance communication serves as a fitting example. Over the years, there have been smoke signals to both human and animal messengers, to wired and later wireless communication. A satellite, is any object in outer space, orbiting, in an own orbit. While an artificial satellite is a communication satellite, equipped with transponders, which receive and retransmit information from different regions, around the world, the transponders include, both receiving and transmitting antennas, a microcomputer, and a frequency converter. As a contribution to the communication sector of our country, Kenya, we as the Coast Team Innovators, have designed a communication satellite, the Uhuru K-1. The Uhuru K-1, is a multiband telecommunication satellite, capable of providing signal amplification to all cellular networks, television broadcasting, FM radio, two-way radio, internet access, and global positioning services. The Uhuru K-1 has a mini satellite, a nano satellite, and finally, a ground station to officiate its services. The Uhuru K-1 uses the C-band for fixed and mobile services. It has high-powered transponders operating under the VHF and UHF frequency bands. This allows for faster signal transmission, as its geographical coverage is much wider, therefore bypassing free space path loss. This is a phenomenon where radio signals are disrupted by natural or unnatural interferences. The Uhuru K1 also uses the Q12 GHz and K16 GHz bands for broadcasting services. The ground station, however, is equipped with a multi-band array of antennas that are all capable of both receiving and relaying RF signals. And finally, a full band modulator that integrates all received radio signals, inclusive of both VHF and UHF bands, respectively. The Uhuru K1 offers a cocktail remedy concerning global communication. First, is to serve as a conduit regards to communication between distant regions, thus ensuring efficiency in services provided. Second, is to ensure maximum network coverage thus increasing satellite operations and local network services, solely to promote the daily Internet of Things within our regions. Third, the race towards urbanization in African nations, is commendable, though some countries still battle poverty. To remedy this, mostly for the younger generations, who fare hungry for knowledge, we have introduced a system, where students or interested parties, could get access to relevant information simply via radio. The main reason is to help create awareness within the regions, and for educative purposes, through various legitimate sources, of information. 